Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at keyframing in Maya 2020. Okay, so I have a shape here that I want to animate and down below we have the timeline which is full of frames. Now this timeline happens to go from 1 to 120 and there are I think a 24 frames in a second so you can do the math on that but I think it's about uh, close to five seconds. So uh, let's get started. First, we need to add a keyframe. And to add a keyframe, you're going to press S. So first, make a shape, click on the shape in object mode, and press S. And it might not look like anything happened, but if I zoom in down here, you'll notice that a red keyframe has appeared at frame one. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, scrub my timeline. This is our time slider. Take my mouse down here. I can scrub it over to how about 60 or maybe we'll do 30 and I will move my cube over here. So at 30 the cube is here and I'm going to press S. So now if I scrub in between these two you can see at 1 it's here, at 30 it's there and it Maya uh, fills in the rest of the animation. So let's look at now, how about 60, and I'm going to come over to here and press S. But I also want it to rotate. So I'm going to use my rotate tool and maybe spin it around a few times and press S. And that will um, override the previous keyframe with just the movement and also add now the rotation. Okay. <clears throat> and how about this uh, 120 we'll go to. I'll move it to the middle of the timeline and maybe or the middle of the scene and I will maybe shrink it down like that with maybe a slight turn and press S. So the keyframe is set. I'm going to just get my move tool here and let's play this animation and let's see what we get. Whoa! So it's really really fast. So let's take a look at that. How can we slow down this timeline? I'm going to pause that. I'll rewind. And there's this little icon of a running man with a gear behind him. I'm going to click on that. That's the preferences for our timeline. And here, there's the time slider. I'm going to choose, instead of play every frame, I'm going to do 24 frames per second. And you can do a slower version. Um, or a faster version of this, but 24 frames per second should be fine. And it will feel like five seconds. Okay, save. It's rewound. I'm going to press play. And you can see now it will animate all four of my keyframes. Okay, so you can see how um, keyframing, we can animate size movement, and rotation. Notice that when this is moving, it's very, it has something called ease. So it starts slow, speeds up, and then slows down in between each keyframe. If you are not a fan of that, I'm going to just stop this. I can triple click the timeline and it'll turn all red. And then right click, and there's, there's something called tangents. And in tangents, it typically goes to something called spline. And that is what adds that ease. I'm going to choose linear. And now you might see a difference if I press play. Now there is no ease. It just moves the same amount of time, the same speed from one keyframe to the other. Uh, okay, so uh, you don't have to turn that on. You can keep the ease. Ease obviously looks better, but it's up to you, just so you know that that option is there. Good luck, and give it a try.